Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen the uh, how to create a class in the JavaScript. So now we in this video we will see how we can implement inheritance in the JavaScript. So we uh, here if you see here we have the previous example only what we have discussed earlier. Here I am having a class person. So now I will I will create another class by name Leela. So it extends the person okay it's common so we are inheriting so person is the parent class and lila is our class now what i will try to do is so if i go down okay why is that not available let's try this yeah so if i go down if i check here the code i am trying to remove this code okay now i will try to create let Leela is equal to new Leela. I have created object for the child class. Okay. So now <clears throat> what I will try to do is I will try to send I will try to send the value okay as me as Leela or otherwise just we will try to console.log. Okay, we will check it. We will check it Leela dot hello. I am trying to call the hello method okay instead of doing the console.log we will just i am trying to call the parent class hello method so here parent class hello method is there right i am trying to call this parent class hello method let's check the output if i check the output i am getting hello world this is undefined so why is getting undefined is we are not sending the name so we will try to send the name here okay so what i will do i will try to send the name if i try to send the name now i got it as hello world this is lila okay fine so that means here I tried to create an object for Leela automatically the constructor is automatically called by sending this parameter to the base class that is nothing but the parent class. So now let's assume that I have here a constructor for the child class okay it takes the age. So what I will try to do this dot age is equal to age I will create a property in the child class so that here and my age is so we will try to use the, like this this dot age so i am trying to use directly like this and now we will try to call the new leela of uh, something like this we will try to we will try to send 27 only. why because so the leela child class accepts only age only so now we will try to call leela dot hello when we try to execute this one we are getting nothing so we are getting nothing so now if i check the out if i check here so if i check if i try to run here i am getting nothing so the so problem has came so what could be the problem here okay so what could be the problem the problem has came so here it is calling only this constructor but the parent constructor it is unable to call okay so in, in order to call the parent constructor parent constructor also we need to we need to write the super and we need to send the parameter for that one. why because base class accepts a parameter so we know that that class lila has default one as lila only the name so i will send it as lila so now if i try to run it again so now i got the output see hello world this is lila and my age is 27 so lila is passed and this dot age so it it acts it directly took it from the base class so sorry child class so in this way we can call the parent class constructor using the super remember that if you don't want to uh, if you are creating a constructor in the child class and you need to compulsorily use that super so that parent class constructor also will be called okay you remember that one now just think i have another method here okay i have another method here so now i have another method here something like hello uh, hello twice or something like this okay this one what it will do it will call this dot hello okay and this dot hello so now what i will try to do i will try to call this dot hello twice so what could be the output here so i am calling leela dot hello twice so that means it will call in the child class leela dot hello twice why because hello twice is present in the child class and this dot hello it is calling that here the parent class the method so let's check the output if i check the output I got two times the output is displayed as two times. So let's assume that I have hello here. Okay, hello method is present here in the 
चलिए सो वॉट आई विल आई विल डू द कंसोल डॉट लाग ओनली हेलो आई विल प्रिंट इट ओके नॉट टू गेट सी द आउटपुट सो आई एम प्रिंटिंग ओनली द हेलो नाउ लेट चेक द आउटपुट सो वॉट कुड बी द आउटपुट लेट्स चेक सो इफ आई चेक द आउटपुट सो इफ आई क्लियर इट इन इफ आई गई सो आई एम गेटिंग ओनली द हेलो हेलो सो दैट मीन्स already the hello method is present in the child class so that that's why the child class uh, is executing automatically if i want to execute the hello which is present in the parent class if i want to execute means i need to write it as super okay so you remember this one super so if i clear it and if i run it again now i got the parent class method is got executed and i got the output from the parent class so in this way if you want to call the method in the parent class so if the class is if a parent class if you want to execute the method if the method is already present in the child class you need to call it as super if you call with this it will search in the child class or otherwise if it is not present then it will go to the parent class it will not so uh, if you use super directly so it will directly take the method from the parent class only so in this way we have we will be using inheritance in the javascript or nothing but next generation javascript es6 okay the so super so you have to remember that super should be used when we are using the constructor in the child class all the time super should be used so this is all about classes and its inheritance if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you